How's it going, everybody? This is Kafdel Six that's coding, and today I'm going to show. I'm going. I'm. I'm back in with another video, and today I'm going to show you how to create a button on Java Eclipse. Okay, so this is this is just going to be uh, a normal button. It's not going to be any useful button like the one that, that will uh, make anything or outputs anything. It's just it's just a simple button that you can click, but it doesn't do anything just yet. For the later video, I'm going to make it as an action listener, so we, it could output things when we click on it as an input. Okay, so first off, when we're going to create a button, let's create a new Java project. And the Java project is button. Inside the button, here, we already have the class, or else you just need to right click new class, but and name it button or anything that you want okay so button um, let's just create the class the button class there go now I'm going to import the important the important class for this for this program import javax import java dot the adwt dot e all and import java dot awt awt dot event all uh, the uh, the ast the asterisk in this um, in this line is it means all of the classes that are that are inside this package okay so after this we're going to create the main method main string args Done. And inside this main method, we're going to create the J frame first for our button to be placed on. J frame frame equals new J frame. Let's set a title for our J frame button button button. And suddenly let's check about something. Yeah, it's ah. And now we're going to import the JFrame. Good. After that, frame dot set size three hundred by three hundred pixels, and frame dot set visible equals true. Okay. Now this is going to make our frames visible. Now we already create the the frames. We should be able to run it, and a frame will show will show up. A frame will show up. There we go. Now we have this frame, title 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 button button, and it, it, it and it has nothing in it yet. But we're going to add a button inside to this, and we're going to make it appears on the frame. The button. Uh, so after this, we're going to create a J panel. The J panel is the thing that will hold the button for the frame. J panel panel equals new J panel. Now we're going to import import panel dot. No no. After this, we need to no pane one. What the heck? Oh, it's panel that. After this, we need to frame dot add panel there you go and after this we're going to create the button j button button equals new j button and we're going to create a button that uh, that has a string inside of it and instead of the string there will be a text called click me but you can but you can input anything to this name right here you can you could you could use any lines or text. Okay, it it depends on what you want. So we colon and then we import the button, the G button. After that, we're going to set the the size of the button. But set size hundred pixels by hundred pixel, not hundred. Yeah, pixel by pixels. Button dot set visible. 
true and after this we're going to we're going to add the pan the button into the panel by doing panel dot add button there we go and as you can see if you don't know all of the methods methods you can just type button the instance of the object button and you in you and you put a dot at the end of it just a dot and you will see every method that is that is related to button to j button here you go as you can see so alignment everything set size is minimum size separate size alignment element x alignment alignment y enable boolean action everything so there we go if you don't know all the methods you just need to do that panel and app button okay after this this is the moment of truth we're going to see if this program will work or not as you can see the button is not <laughs> the button is ah there we go there's the button <laughs> There's, there's a little bit of error, I just need to do that and the button appears. Here we go, as you can see, we've made a button for this video. If you don't believe me, let's run it again from, from the beginning. And see there's the button right there. Run it again, and there's the button right there. Run it again, and and there's the button right there. Okay, so, to pro so this is proved. This method will work to create a button on your Java Eclipse. Okay, I hope this video is helpful. I hope you can understand this and you can implement and implement implement it into your own programs or applications. Okay, so thank you for for watching this video. I hope it helps. I hope it works. And don't forget to don't, don't forget to let don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and leave a comment on the section below. And I guess see you again in the next video for the button action listener video. And until that video Happy coding.